We've got to talk about Alan Richson potentially being the DCU Batman because I think James Gunn would be an absolute genius to cast him in the role. And Alan has expressed a ton of interest in playing Batman. He says it's such an iconic character and he would be honored to play him in live action. And, you know, he even jokingly said recently in an interview, like they should just hand him the role at this point because everybody's talking about this rumor and I'm here for it. And he's honestly perfect for it. He's a big fan of the character. He genuinely wants this role. I think he would put in a lot of effort into his performance. He's obviously proven himself with the Reacher series. I think he plays a fantastic uh, Jack Reacher, which I think that could translate really well into a Batman and Bruce Wayne. And then he's obviously got the physicality. This dude is an absolute unit. This dude is deezed. He's yoked. He literally looks like Batman in real life. He is just massive. And you need that if you're going to play Batman. This is a character that's supposed to be very physically imposing, and Alan Richson definitely delivers that. He also needs to be old enough to have a son in Damian Wayne, who's going to be roughly about 13 years old in the DCU, and I think he's the perfect age as well. I believe he's 41 years old. And it would easily be believable that he has a 13-year-old son that he hasn't heard about because Talia al Ghul never told him. And James Gunn let us know that Damien is going to be in Batman Brave and the Bold. So, you know, it makes sense. Alan fits the bill. He fits the acting ability, the physicality, the age, literally everything. And some people are questioning his acting ability. But honestly, just go watch Reacher and your mind will be changed. I guarantee it. Because if I think he never did reach her, then yeah, okay, question his acting ability because the stuff he was in before that, sure, maybe it wasn't, you know, up to par with what a DCU Batman actor needs. But after Reacher, I think he definitely elevated his performance and he's just a more seasoned actor now. And just look at some of his videos in real life, like interviews and everything. That is literally what Bruce Wayne acts like. He can be really serious, but then also very funny and charismatic, which is exactly what you need for Bruce Wayne. And just look at him all dressed up like this. That easily could be Bruce Wayne. And some people are saying they would rather have Jensen Ackles, which, yeah, that's a great choice. Honestly, I would be fine with either of them, Alan or Jensen. Either one is fine with me, but Alan seems to be way more interested in the role, so I would personally give it to him. And I just think he could make a fantastic comic book, fantastical Batman because we've never really had that. All the Batman movies have been super realistic and I think Alan could deliver a great comic book Batman. And if you're still on the fence about him, I promise you, you will change your mind if you watch Reacher. Just even if you don't want to watch the whole series, just search Reacher interrogation and action scenes and your, your mind will be changed instantly. Whenever this dude has an interrogation scene and he's describing crime scenes and stuff, I'm like, that is literally Batman. But yeah, that's my opinion on it. I think Alan would make a fantastic Batman. He's obviously expressed a ton of interest in it. And a lot of people are supporting his campaign to be Batman. Even just look at his Instagram uh, posts. All the comments are like, Batman, Batman, be Batman. At James Gunn, cast him as Batman. Like, a lot of people want to see him play the Dark Knight. Let me know your thoughts about this whole thing down below.